there's purpose for every piece in your space. I honestly think I'm a rose whisperer. Like, look how perfectly aged these roses came out. They're perfect for, like, the room, the brown, the neutrals. But the hydrangeas, though. Ooh! Okay, let me just move it into the office. <laughs> it's the office chair, but let me move it into the office. I'm loving the linen I can see through. Okay, let me... to have that and some yogurt some Greek yogurt for breakfast and then get it to our content for today let's go all right so the dressers here quite a few items this is from Wayfair shout out to Wayfair this video is not sponsored but Wayfair came through um, and when I say came through they have a lot of great offerings this was purchased um, the collection is modus Modus, Modus, Modus or Modus, I don't know. I think it might be Modus. Um, furniture, and it's a hair and bone dresser. I have the nightstands to match. Beautiful restoration hardware dupe, and I just cannot wait to set it up. So it's rather long, but the nightstands were encased in styrofoam, so I believe that's why. And I've opened one already, <laughs> one of the nightstands already. So we're gonna get into unpacking this. Not gonna do a full styling, but I definitely want to make this a new furniture haul. So I'll take you around piece by piece. Okay, so that's the dresser. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's so beautiful. And this is the foot or feet. Of course, it's going to be on wheels and connected with the pole. Um, but I think that so the chair's a little bit darker than the seat. But with all the sun hitting it, you really can't tell. Oh, gosh, this is so perfect. So perfect. Okay. Yeah. There was a lighter shade, but I think anything lighter than this would have been problematic for a seat that I'm in all day, you know? Like a light linen, a headboard, you can block with pillows, but a seat that you're actually, you know, the tuffeted headboards that look like this, I have a gray one. But if I got a light linen headboard, then, you know, I could prop pillows up in between, you know, the pillows I lay my head on so that it doesn't get stained. But something tuffeted like this that you're sitting on every day, yeah. I think I thought the lighter linen would have been a closer match to this, but now that I'm seeing these side by side, with the sun hitting it, honey, it it looks like a match to me. What do y'all think? It looked like a match to me. Yeah, Miss Sun. I love this. This is looking good. This is looking good. And the woods are not the same, but what I like is that the wood legs on the bench, right? 
to me blend well with the chair like that's when I can see that the chair is a little bit darker but it's not a big deal and this is gonna be down low it's just all about woods in here woods browns and I cannot wait to tell y'all the theme the room is just not complete you know when I do like the full-on you know re-looping of all updates and including everything that I brought in and doing that final tour yeah then you'll see, you know, what I'm talking about. And I, I gotta get my costume ready for the, for, the, uh, <laughs> for, the, for the additional room tour. I did the makeover video, but I'm gonna be doing a, like, full-on office tour in full costume. If you don't know, ask somebody. Ask somebody that knows me well. Theatrics. <laughs> As you know, it has some tuffeted friends that are already assembled that are waiting for it to join the party. So once we set it up, I'm gonna do like a, just like a full scope, like a quick span of the room so you can see how it fits in. So yeah, that's the first thing. Our second arrival, oh baby! Can't tell you what room this is going in just yet. I need to kind of smooth it out, but you know, picture doesn't, the camera does it no justice. And of course, you know, because it's like a velvet suede, I gotta brush it so that those marks don't really, you know, show up. But that's just because of the change in um, direction in the fabric. I did sit in it on the floor when I opened it. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. The reviews for the most part, everybody was raving about it. A lot of people bought it in yellow and navy. Like, you know, I didn't see any reviews or pictures of anyone that had it in green, so I was nervous. Honestly, when it came and I opened the bag, the box completely, I was like, oh, it looks a little tealish or hunterish. I wanted more of an emerald green. But like I said, the camera doesn't know justice. And that was like at the end of the day. It looks great. It looks great now that it's out and the sun's up. So I cannot wait to put it together. And I can't wait to show you where it's going to go. Get ready. Get ready. All right. Let's move on. Before I start assembling these, let's move on so I can show you everything that came now that everything's out the box. Oh, oh, before I do. Ah, and I have two of them actually. But So this is um, the gold clothing rack. Um, situation now in the previous office video that's just stuff for the assembly of that chair over there and then another extra chair that I've always had but all that be cleared out shortly um, but this this uh, folding rack so initially the Amazon clothing rack that I was going to I think it might be better to turn this way there we go much better so the Amazon clothing rack that I told you I actually thought it had arrived because some other um, Amazon packages came, um, you know, brought the boxes up, never looked. It was other stuff, other furniture that I'm going to show in another video. And I was all set, gung-ho. You saw me measuring, right? And ready to assemble. Y'all. Yeah. So we ended up getting this clothing rock times two. And I think I love it. I think I love it because that space where I was going to put the rack is perfect for this. Um, it is the exact same gold as the chandelier. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? And the other one had like a light yellowy, that like light yellowy, cheesy looking type of gold finish. And so, I don't know. I feel like it worked out perfectly. I have two of these, so they'll be side by side, or I could put one in the closet and have one out. I might actually have it out here in the room to kind of break up the beige, white, and like, you know, just bland tones of the neutral palette and get some more metallics out here. The mirror is gold, right? Same gold as the chandelier, same gold as the folding um, clothing rack. And I just, I live. I live, I live, I live. What are the, oh, that's my shoes in the bathroom. I was like, what is that over there? Um, I live, I live. Like, I love this so much. So, happy that I found this at At Home. They are on clearance. All right, piece number five, already open. Please disregard those racks in the background and, um, you know, anything you see in the background. But this is piece number five. This is the nightstand, opened up, unboxed, and I love it. It is a restoration hardware dupe. Um, the name of the restoration hardware set 
I cannot think off the top of my head, but I'll insert it here so that you can see. And I just love it. I have been, you know, maximizing space in closets and working with vertical height. And I've had, you know, bedroom sets before, but since I've been in this residential community, I have not. I've used space in my closet so that I have more walking space in my room. So this is something new now. I'm in a slightly larger space, a two bedroom now. And the bedroom is a little bit bigger. Actually, it's much bigger. It's much bigger than my last bedroom. Um, prior to the holiday is the one bedroom I was in but I'm so happy to have side storage on either side of my bed and in the nightstands and also the dresser so we don't have to really make a dresser in my closet and I'll show you that in a minute what I'm talking about in a minute if you haven't seen you can uh, check out my apartment tour where I took you through how I use IKEA cube um, storage units to make inside closet drawer space but this is something new literally well where, where's the here we go top maru top <laughs> this is something new literally and figuratively and i just love the finish really 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 pulls in the brown carpet and the gray matches the top headboard oh yes so it was almost like this corner knew that something larger and grander was coming. This is the perfect amount of space for the new nightstands. Actually, a little bit, um, a little bit more space than uh, needed. So when I fill in this corner with the first nightstand you just saw, I'm gonna actually slide the bed over a little bit. That way, I can have um, more space on the other side for the nightstand. Because right now. Um, there's not enough space over there. There's a bookcase behind my door, if you remember from my Vlogmas video, that's hidden when the door's open. And then there's also a nightstand, the same so same one as this, and there definitely needs to be more space. So we'll be filling this in and then sliding uh, the bed over, the nightstand over, everything over, and making room for the other nightstand. And I'll show you. I'm actually thinking about moving the bookcase to another location so that this room is just nightstand, bed, and plants on either side. So yeah, let's go ahead and start sliding the uh, nightstand here out and the other nightstand in. And this is actually going to someplace that you've seen before. You know, you gotta maximize and use what you've got. other nightstand out first huh <laughs> can we say excited <laughs> all right let's do that Oh my god I love it I was nervous about this color but when that Sun hits it and I see it next to the gray whoo don't really like the wintry like holiday bedding with it but I got a um, I got a plan for this comforter I'm gonna use the same comforter but I just love it with the gray and of course the headboard is gonna come over so you won't be able to see the legs of the headboard uh, I'm gonna shift that over actually put the lamp up top back on top see how I feel about the lamp oh oh yes I was nervous about the gold and the acrylic but that is that is satisfying my my vision my taste um, my plan oh Yes, yeah, the contrast. It's the contrast for me. <laughs> it's the contrast. Let me take this tag out. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Oh my God, I have storage. I have drawer storage on the side of my bed. This is so good. So these are really long, just like the restoration hardware um, set. It's like, it looks spot on, spot on like the restoration hardware set. Same length, same width, a little bit, I think it might be a little bit taller than the restoration hardware nightstands, but I'm gonna link these in the description box for you. So much cheaper than that restoration hardware, but the same look. And this is the hair and bone set. Hair and bone, um, well, hair and bone is the pattern um, that they used to describe it, but that's not the name of the actual um, set. I'll put all of that in the description box for you, but I'm loving it. I can't wait to put this together. And the comfort, I'm gonna keep the comforter on because it's the perfect um, kind of like cream cheese, off-white ivory color as my Ikea curtains. And this is typically a color that's not like white white. It's not like pure white, which I hate unless it's like summer. Um, it's great that it matches the curtains perfectly. So I'm going to keep this on here, but I have an idea of how I can take away from the whole winter holiday look that I had going on with the um, pattern on it. So stay tuned. Huge bedroom. Well, I don't know if I should call it huge, but total makeover for this bedroom coming up. Just want to make sure y'all got to see what was inside the boxes that I hauled earlier. Yeah, stay tuned for that all styled up candle book, you know, linen spray. I got an idea of how much space I'm going to need. So, of course, measuring it and then looking on the other side, I knew the bookcase was going to have to move, but I was going to move it someplace else in this bedroom. No. It is moving out of the bedroom, just like this rug, and they are going to a new location. I cannot wait to show you. Perfect example of how you can use what you already have to recreate your space over and over and over again. And you don't always have to buy pieces. Sometimes you might be doing it because you're bringing in new pieces like a nightstand or nightstand set. Um, but if you're not shopping for anything new, just changing things up allows you to recreate your space. And so we're gonna do that by moving that bookcase out and helping out in making this extreme bedroom makeover a success. We need all the space that we can allot for, for our nightstands and for our plants so that it's an asymmetrical type of layout in the room. Plants on both sides, nightstand on both sides. All right, let's start moving stuff out. Okay, so many things are changing. So these nightstands are moving. I'm getting ready to move this one over into my office because it has the gold um, pole on it. The other one I'm getting ready to show you in just a minute. Excuse my journals and books and stuff, but um, the other one, I could not get it on the inside. I could not get it, I, don't, I could not get that screw to come out no matter what I did. So my electronic drill was too large to get in the drawer. I assembled it. The problem was I assembled it not thinking I would change the poles and the drawer does not come out. It's not like a free flowing loose drawer that comes out. So in any event, the one that I just showed you with the dark, um, the black, like, you know, Ikea knob, that is going in another space. And this is going to my office. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to let you know where items are going, but only once that room is pretty much complete and you guys have seen the office's transformation like phase one you know there's one more phase coming up uh, but that probably won't happen until like march but since you've seen phase one might as well take this over there um, i'm thinking i could use it for my printer um just various things but the goal will match perfectly with the theme so let's go ahead and take that over there okay so the dresser is about to be unveiled you already know what it looks like because you've seen the nightstand or nightstands. Yeah. Well, actually, you've seen one of the nightstands, but the entire set is pretty much the same. I'm just so excited because this is a six drawer dresser, lots of space, and you know I am the space saving queen. So it just opens up opportunities to just declutter and get rid of things that I don't need, but not have to put anything in storage. So let's do it. All right, let's go.
assembly assembly for the office chair starts now I'm probably not gonna videotape this whole process I'm just gonna show y'all the end result because we got things to do <laughs> I know y'all got things to do too so we're not gonna take you through all of that all right be back Woo! <laughs> We stopped before I fall. <laughs> the chair's done. Oh, finally have an office chair. Ouch. All right, here she goes. Let's roll her into the office. So gorgeous. Oh, perfect. Pushed it up a little bit, but oh, about to step on some artwork. There is the office chair. I love it, y'all. What do you think? Perfect. All right, we have one more project to assemble. Let's get to it. Hello, lover. <laughs> Time to put you together. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. All done. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. Can't wait to see this in the daytime. Fully assembled. This carpet needs to go though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.